Alright guys, welcome back to Ether One. You might notice I'm in a very different place. Well, what happened was I had an entire recording session done, which was actually part 12. But I guess this is going to have to be part 12. An entire session was my favorite session. Have we got to go session. all the way up there? But, you know, things happen. Let's do this. Let's finish this. Come on, are you going to talk to me? Well, I guess this is it. Yep. The final step. Your step. Yep. What lies on the other side is for you now and for you alone. I'll be watching, guiding. You're ready for this and this is difficult for me to say, but I'm so proud of who Whoa. you've become. <laughs> no, I'm so proud of who you are. What are you talking about who I became? I've always been this man. Alright, time to start the ballerina to start. Ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Sorry. <laughs> what? There we go. Let's go inside. Hello, Thomas. Whenever Hello. you want to resolve this final memory, I'm waiting for you. This door right here, we got one more. What are you talking about? Alright. Let's do this. Who's ready? I'm ready. You ready? Kinda. Oh, this is scary. Oh. Oh, this reminds me of Cry of Fear. Oh. Oh. This entire part just reminds me of Cry of Fear. There's nothing in these rooms. What's going on? No? What? Oh. 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 Okay. This is good. Help. Whoa. Okay. That was, uh, strange. Oh! Oh, ho, ho, please tell me it's not about to turn horror. Actually, please tell me it is. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Gotta get inside. Whoa, where'd the house go? I was bummed out at the beginning of this, but now I'm actually having fun again. I was kind of wondering what was going on. I don't remember if I said it in the last part or if we figured it out in the last part, but my character's name's Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> in the part that was deleted, I'm talking about. My character's name's Thomas. And I'm thinking I'm dead. Yeah. It's the major thought that might actually happen. She was talking about her sister and that she says that me and her might have gotten along. That we would like each other. I'm like, yo, why? And she said, okay. Um, maybe after this. What kind of camera do I have? Maybe after we're all done here, we can, uh, you know, talk. I was like, yo, okay. I don't trust you or this agency. So, here we are. Just took all those pictures in that creepy house. Let's do this. Whoa! I think... Oh, we're back here. I thought that would have been it, but... Just one second. What the hell is going on? 
I don't know. Yes, that's it. Not what I expected, if I'm honest, but the final hurdle hasn't yet been crossed. To think it was here all along in your case. Oh, okay. That makes total sense. What do I do? Whoa! No! I want my lamp! Give me my lamp! Wait. This isn't right. I don't understand. Okay. I'm getting out of here. I can't. I can't. I'm dead. I'm dead. I told you. I told you I'm gonna die. I told you I'm gonna die. I'm hiding. Please don't hurt me. Wait! You need to listen. I know this will be difficult, but this has always been who you are. I knew it! I told you! I was a test subject. I was the one. I was correct. Everything you see, don't you recognize these beautiful items that you found? You need to accept who you are. I'm not your enemy, Thomas. I'm trying to help you. No, you're not. Things we touch in life stay with us. Although broken and fragmented, they hold the key to remembering the way we used to be. The scent of a perfume, a memorable song, it all comes flooding back. Everything is how it used to be. I'm you not your enemy, Thomas. I'm trying to help you. I don't believe you. You're it's important that you fight. You need to let go of this dream world. You need to hold on to her. You need to hold on to your memories. What should I do? What do I got to do? That's all that you have left. You need to fight this illness. Oh gosh. Hurry. I'm just a manifestation. A reinterpretation of someone who's actually trying to help you. I heard you the first time. Please. It's time. I'm dead. I thought you were dead. Oh! Run! Oh! Run! 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 No! No! No, that dude! Did I just die? What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What's going on? I'm dead. What? How am I alive? Hello, Thomas. I am. Um... I guess the last question to answer is, how do I fit into all of this? In your memories and in your mind. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Okay, I guess I gotta get up now. Okay. Okay. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew I was a test subject. I was at your birthday party, Thomas sat there in the garden, you remember? You noticed me and bought me a piece of cake. Were you always my... caring. It doesn't affect everyone in the same way. He was never violent to either of you. But the soul can be crushed in other ways. And he emotionally drained you both. Too much, too young, too soon. Man, this is kind of I emotional. wanted you to come and live with us across the road. Somewhere I knew you'd be safe. Was he abused? He was rotting from the inside. He was drowning from the poison in his belly. What happened? It's only then when the inevitable had reared its ugly head that he realized that he loved you. Even if he never really showed it. What happened? I don't get it. Whoa. What the happened? empathy of a child is a very powerful thing. It wasn't long till he was consumed by intoxication. He was warned and still he continued. 
me. How are you meant to know he was going to go away as well? You just watched him stagger in every evening, always ensuring he got to bed and was safe. These memories aren't happy, Thomas, but they are important. They shaped you into who you are today. A dead man. They made you human. These memories aren't happy, Thomas, but they are important. They shaped you into who you are today. You just repeated they made yourself. You human. Don't do it again. I also saw your mother leave that night, watching through my curtains as she drove away. I could always see your home and everything that happened inside. I knew it was going to be emotional. I knew it was going to be a good game. I had a feeling. Wait, was that me? The final memory. I wonder. Well. Do I have time? Because I know this is the end of the game, I can guarantee it. Whoa! Running away was the best thing to do. You didn't know who was taking you away or where. A lost soul in a sea of uncertainty. Frightened and scared. You know, you always were a wonderful artist. Yet, these memories are all yours. Everyone an experience from your life. Some of them we were together and others only you experienced. Lost in your own illness, oh, your gosh. mind fought to save as much as it possibly could by creating this confused world of fantasy and reality. Okay, These guys. These core I memories from your childhood, they made you who you are today, traumatic as they are. But it truly was the only way that you could understand who you are as an individual. I don't know if I have enough time to beat this. You're being treated validation therapy. And you're struggling to feel alive. Sat in that leather chair. In that care home. Day in, day out. Huh. I guess I have to sit in the leather chair. No? No. That was the last time I saw you for a very long time. But it wasn't the last time I held your hand. I always wanted to find you. And I did. I did find you. All those years later. Oh, man. It's time we face this. Together. What do I gotta do? Together. Please tell me I have enough time. Let's finish Please, this. Thomas, sit down. Oh, gosh. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. But I got... I gotta stop this. Like, now. But the next part... We'll finish this. So, I'll 